are sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, first Pi guy here. I'm going to show you how to install uh, RetroPie on top of the Raspbian image. Now, I'm using a Raspberry Pi 4 for this install. So this install will be based on the Pi 4 only because if you use the Pi 3, you may have to split the memory, but we're not going to worry about that on a Pi 4. So anyway, I'll throw a link in the description to the commands for this, but we're just going to do an update. Then we need to run the local command to uh, make sure our locals are set. So you can do that by easily just typing local in here. And since all of them do have the US UTHF, we're good to go. Now, depending on what country you're in, you just want to make sure that all these are set. So, after that, we can move forward and we need to download some packages here. And they are already installed. So now we can clone the directory for the RetroPi setup. So once that's done, we just need to CD into it, and we'll clear that. Then we'll run a ch command here. Then we will run the install. Now we're going to do the full install on this, and the full install is basically the same as the RetroPie image that they offer. So that's what we are going to focus on and install. All right, so here we are. So we'll click OK. So now what we need to do, click on the basic install. Yes. And now we'll just let it install. All right, a few minutes later and we're still going. All right, so now it is installed. So. Next, we want to look at some other options here. All right, so if you want to use the USB as like a thumb drive and put your ROMs on it and whatnot to run your RetroPie, we need to go under the Manage Package, then under the Optional Packages, then scroll down and install the USB ROM service. That will do that. All right, so that's done. So we can go back here. So now here we are, and as you can see, you have some different options here. Then you have all these. So I just wanted to do this video to pretty much get you installed and ready to go. So, but I'm not going to get into anything else in this video. We don't want to drag it out too long. So hopefully this will uh, help you out to at least get it installed if you're installing it on top of a previous image like Raspbian. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another one.